Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to build your own DIY Salerno ring. As of the making of this video, nobody really manufactures this prop, so really the best way to get one is just to make it yourself. This design is fairly inexpensive and easy to assemble. I recently made about 20 of these to use for a workshop at the 2023 IJA Festival, which ended up going very well. For this build, you will need these tools and these materials. I highly recommend the large 40 cm rings, though as I'll show later, it is possible to build this prop with standard size juggling rings that you probably have lying around your house. Additionally, you can use half inch galvanized steel instead of PVC for a heavier but more stable balance. So first you'll need to mark the spots on the ring where you're going to drill. I went ahead and made a paper template to help me mark the position since they can be a little bit hard to eyeball. This is just a 40 cm by 40 cm or about 16 inch by 16 inch square divided in half both ways. Go ahead and mark the rings at three of the intersections and then at the bottom you'll want to make two marks that are about an inch and a half apart or about three quarters of an inch from the center where the line would intersect. You can then tape the two rings together so that they don't separate and then drill through all the markings with a quarter inch bit. Next, we're going to drill two holes through the PVC T coupling. You'll want to make two marks on both sides that are about an inch and a half apart so that they line up with the holes that you drilled on the ring. The important thing here is that you drill the holes close to the top of the PVC coupling. If you drill them in the center, the PVC piece will sit too high between the rings and will actually collide with the ball. But by drilling close to the top of the piece, it will sit lower down and it won't make contact with the ball as it spins. This part can be a little bit awkward to drill, but just try to make the holes as straight as possible. If you have a drill press, that would probably make this a lot easier. Now for the fun part. We're going to grab five bolts and put a washer on each of them. These washers aren't actually necessary, but I just like the way they look. Insert the bolts through one of the rings and then add another washer to each and tighten them down with a nut. Then add your PVC coupling. It might take a little bit of force to get on depending on how straight your holes are. Don't be afraid to widen the holes with your drill a little bit if you can't get it on first try. Now add another nut to each of the two bolts holding the PVC coupling in place and tighten it down. Next, we're going to put another nut on each of the bolts about a half inch from the top. You can play with this distance to see what works best for you. Then add a washer to each of them and go ahead and put on the second ring. Again, don't be afraid to widen some of the holes if everything doesn't line up perfectly first try. The last step is just to add another washer and a nut to each bolt and tighten everything down. You can go ahead and test it out with your ball to see if everything works smoothly and make sure that the ball isn't hitting the PVC coupling at the bottom of the track. Now all that's left to do is put the rubber foot on the end of the PVC pipe and connect the pieces together and your Salerno ring is ready. If you're using a wiffle ball blank, sometimes the lettering can make a buzzing sound as it spins in the ring, so I like to use a file to smoothen it out. Alternatively, you can just use pretty much any empty Russian ball shell as long as it is light and large enough to fit in the tracks. Another option you have for the pole is to use half inch galvanized steel instead of PVC. Like the PVC, I like to buy it in two two foot sections with a coupling so that it's a lot easier to travel with and it gives you the option to do a lower height in case you're performing under a low ceiling. You'll want to clean it first, and I also spray painted mine white as well. The cool thing is that the galvanized steel will actually screw right into the PVC T coupling so that you can easily interchange between either one depending on what your needs are. As you can see, the PVC has quite a lot of flex to it, which can be a little bit annoying in some cases. The galvanized steel is much more rigid and is significantly heavier, which I tend to prefer. And that's really about all there is to it. This trick really isn't that difficult to learn once you have a solid face balance. The key is just to transfer the up and down motion into your knees as soon as you get the ball spinning and just continue to do fast, gentle bounces as you lift it up onto your face. With this design, you can either use both two foot sections for the pole or just a lower one. I find it quite a bit more difficult at the lower height, but it is useful in some cases where you might not have the ceiling height. Feel free to experiment with different heights if you like. Just out of curiosity, I also made a Salerno ring using two standard size juggling rings. It does work, but you have to bounce up and down a lot quicker to keep it spinning, and I don't think it looks anywhere near as impressive. The short version feels absolutely horrible, but I guess it's kind of fun. There's also a few interesting tricks you can do outside of the face balance, but all in all, this prop is pretty underexplored. 
Hopefully some of you more creative than me can come up with something that's a little bit more exciting. Anyways, that's about all I have to say about the Salerno Ring. This is a fantastic trick that I use in almost all my performances, and I really love how much visual space it takes up on stage. I'll go ahead and link some great tutorials and performances in the description that you should definitely check out. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I'll be happy to respond.